The Perfect King, The Life of Edward III, Father of the English Nation, by Ian Mortimer is a meticulously researched biography that delves into the life and reign of one of England's most influential monarchs, Edward III. In this compelling narrative, Mortimer takes readers on a journey through the tumultuous 14th century, exploring the complex character of Edward III and his profound impact on the development of the English nation. Mortimer's biography is a masterful piece of historical storytelling. He skillfully weaves together the threads of Edward's personal life and the broader historical context in which he reigned, creating a vivid and comprehensive portrait of the king. Throughout the book, Mortimer's prose is both engaging and informative, making the dense subject matter accessible to a wide range of readers, from history enthusiasts to academic scholars. One of the central themes of the book is the transformation of Edward III from a young and inexperienced king to a ruler who is celebrated as the father of the English nation. Mortimer paints a vivid picture of Edward's early years, highlighting his struggle to assert his authority and gain control over a kingdom that had been weakened by the misrule of his father and regents. As Edward matures, he emerges as a shrewd and capable monarch who skillfully navigates the complex political landscape of his time. Mortimer's exploration of Edward's military campaigns and his pursuit of territorial expansion is a testament to the king's ambition and determination. The Hundred Years' War with France is a major focus of the book, and Mortimer provides a detailed account of Edward's military strategies and the famous Battle of Cressy. He also delves into the intricacies of medieval warfare, the role of chivalry, and the development of the English longbow, which played a pivotal role in England's military successes. In addition to Edward's military endeavors, Mortimer examines his domestic policies and their lasting impact on English society. Edward's efforts to strengthen royal authority, reform the legal system, and promote the use of English in government documents contributed to the development of a unified English identity. Mortimer skillfully illustrates how Edward's reign laid the foundation for the concept of a nation, rather than just a collection of territories and subjects. One of the book's strengths is its in-depth exploration of Edward's personal life and relationships. Mortimer provides a nuanced portrayal of the king's marriage to Queen Philippa, emphasizing the depth of their partnership and the positive influence she had on him. The author also doesn't shy away from discussing Edward's extramarital relationships, painting a complex picture of a man whose personal life was filled with both love and political intrigue. Mortimer also dedicates a significant portion of the book to the broader context of the 14th century, including the Black Death and its devastating impact on England. He examines the economic and social consequences of the plague, as well as the challenges it posed to Edward's rule. This contextualization of Edward's reign within the larger historical landscape adds depth and richness to the narrative. Throughout the biography, Mortimer supports his arguments and narrative with a wealth of primary sources and historical evidence. His extensive research is evident, and he engages with various scholarly debates and interpretations of Edward's reign. This scholarly rigor enhances the credibility of the book and makes it a valuable resource for those interested in medieval history. The Perfect King is not without its flaws. Some readers may find the level of detail overwhelming, especially in the descriptions of battles and military campaigns. Additionally, while Mortimer admirably attempts to present a balanced view of Edward III, there are moments when the author's admiration for his subject shines through, potentially leading to a slightly idealized portrayal. In conclusion, Ian Mortimer's The Perfect King is a remarkable biography that offers a comprehensive and engaging portrait of Edward III and his role in shaping the English nation. Mortimer's storytelling prowess and thorough research make this book an excellent resource for both history enthusiasts and scholars. It provides a deep understanding of the 14th century, the challenges of medieval kingship, 
and the enduring legacy of Edward III as the father of the English nation.